Hello everyone, I'm here today with a uh, kind of a template or a basic tutorial for a top-down action RPG. Uh, this isn't really a tutorial as much as it is a pretty cool template that Godot offers. Um, templates are just projects that people made and published to kind of uh, help you grow as a developer, right? So if we go to the templates here and we just go ahead and click uh, or type in RPG, we'll go ahead and see this top-down action RPG template. and just go ahead and click right here and download and install it. And it looks really basic. It's about these bugs, and uh, there's really not much to it. I already downloaded the game right here. But uh, it has some really good systems that can help beginner game designers and even programmers uh, really see and help learn through the Godot system, right? So we go ahead and open our scene to the outside. We can see this is the, uh, the, map, of the map of the game right here. So if you go up here and run it, We'll go ahead and see that the uh, the sound is really loud uh, for the title screen. But uh, as you saw, we have a basic title screen for the game. Now we have the quit option. We have controls here, and we have the new game. So if we go ahead and click new game, uh, we move by the little mouse keys here, and uh, this goes ahead and uh, we move our character around, and we can go ahead and attack these guys, uh, these little enemies. And we can hit them three times and they die. So right there we have an enemy that attacks and an enemy that dies after three hits, which sounds very simple, uh, and it is, but uh, it's a great resource to have. And right here, I'm going to go ahead and die. And so we have a death mechanic, right? And I'll go ahead and respawn about five or six seconds. There we go. And so right there we covered two important things, which was enemy NPCs and the player death mechanic with... Um, with uh, damages for both, right? And so those are two big things that we're hitting already with this little example. Over here, we have the collection of objects, and there's actually an NPC up here as well, which NPCs are another uh, great thing to really add to any game, obviously. So this is our NPC. We can go ahead and talk to him, and he says, bring me three generic items. Now, I've been walking around kind of collecting those a little bit. And so we'll go ahead and grab the rest of the three. And we go back and talk to him, and we should have completed our quest. So let me talk to him. There we go. And thank you. Here's a reward. Right. So right there, we completed a basic quest. Now that looked very easy, and it is. But the point of this is that all these systems are very basic and simple, and so that you can use them to learn how to develop more complex systems. Right. So you don't want to start out creating some grand, huge, epic quest. Right. You start by doing very basic things like fetch and receive quests. And, uh, in basic, you know, kill enemy quests, right? And then you develop into the cool, epic, you know, whatever it may be, um, RPG kind of quests. And lastly, up here, we have an instance shop, which is big because you want instance building sometimes in games or um, areas. Um, so we try to talk to the shopkeeper. Uh, he doesn't really do anything, he just kind of tells a joke, right? And you walk in and out. So that's really the, the game in itself. There's not a whole lot to it, uh, but it has a lot of good systems, as I've been saying, right? So we can see our character here. Um, that's the window you can kind of see, and you can, you can kind of move him around wherever. You can move the enemies around. Um, this is our NPC. You can move him and any of the scenery as uh, we really want to, but especially with the code. So if you go over here and look at the scripts for the uh, for the player, um, we can see right here, I've already kind of looked through it some. Uh, we have a walk speed here. We have the roll speed. We have the hit points, which you said was three, right? And I'm not going to go into completely analyzing all this code, just kind of the basics of it. Uh, you know, this moves the player, uh, detects if actions are pressed or the arrow keys are moved, detects if attacks or rolls are moved, and then it basically says the speed, speed at which they're moving, and then goes down to playing the animations if something were to happen, and then the death mechanic, right? And so, you know, it's 170 lines of code, but it's all things that you definitely want in any uh, game you'll be creating, right? So it's a great example. We also have our little, uh, our little NPC here, and uh, this is how to interact with him. And obviously interacting with NPCs is important to any, any game you may want to really develop, especially you know, a basic little RPG or adventure game. So this is, this is his code here. And then we also have the quest, right? So questing is obviously a big, a big thing for any game. And uh, you know, it's a very simple thing. He wants to bring you three items or three generic items. Nothing crazy, but the framework is there to build more complex things. You got to start small, right? And then we lastly we have our kind of our house here, uh, which basically just sends you to a scene, right? So 
th that's really what I wanted to cover. And, and the reason why is because it really allows uh, somebody to kind of see this, play with it, look at the code, and, and kind of use this as a template to create a cool little game. You know, nothing crazy, but, you know, a little five, ten minute, you know, adventure, action, whatever you want to call it, game. Because um, my big thing with, you know, programming and game development is you want to create something uh, simple, especially when you first start, but you also want to create something a little cool. You know, it's not always fun to create, you know, a ball with a, you know, that rolls around or a cube that moves or whatever, right? That's fine. Teach you the basic basic stuff, but at the same time, it's like, you, you know, you can go slightly more advanced to do something like this, that's a lot cooler, right? Um, so that's really all I have for today. I just really wanted to show this great template out here, and I think that's a, an awesome resource. Um, so I just really wanted to highlight it in this video, and I hope that uh, all of you will be using it to help develop your games, even if you're a more experienced programmer. There's some, there's some cool stuff in here um, that really helps uh, simplify and help, you know, uh, young developers trying to learn. Uh, so I'll be highlighting some more of these videos, some of these templates, and some of the asset store in the future. But this is kind of the first one for now. Um, but thank you for watching, and I hope that uh, you have fun programming. Thanks. Bye.